Hey guys, what's up and welcome to this tutorial in learning Resolume Arena. Today we are uh, taking a look at input and output mapping. Right, so jumping right into Resolume, um, I have a new composition uh, out here. It's just 1920 by 1080. So what we're going to do first is look at our mapping. So when you show up on site, uh, the LED guy is going to give you a mapping. If not, I guess you're going to make your own one. So out here we can see we have 12 screens um, in the stage and I made a small mistake. Uh, it's supposed to be SR iMag towards the left, uh, which is stage right iMag. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the entire resolution of the mapping into our composition. Right, so we're going to put the resolution in into our composition and we're going to go to composition settings and put in our values here, which is 3600 by 900. I mean, it's not given, but this is how much uh, I have. And we're going to click on apply. So I have imported this uh, mapping here, which is basically just the image. And as you can see, the mapping is pretty simple and um, in the stage we can see this is how it is going to look like so obviously it is very self-explanatory that uh, when you play a content and it covers that area this is how it's going to look like on the stage and right now what we need is the content to cover the entire stage so now we're going to see how the mappings work the input and output mappings Instead of the software, we're going to go to output and then click advanced. Out here, uh, as we can see, screen one is being selected and this is our entire project. Uh, just ignore all of these because these are other stuff. So here in input setting, uh, let's make sure we have this thing running. Uh, right. So over here, we have one slice inside of screen one. And uh, this slice is basically the input mapping of our composition which is this and output transformation is the value which we have selected in input selection uh, yes uh, in the beginning this will take some time to you know understand but it's it's really simple for example in the input selection we have this much of the content i mean i'm just eyeballing it is not correct then in output it's going to be the whole thing and as we can see in our main stage it's looking kind of like this and this is not what we want uh, we're gonna just click on match output shape and make sure it covers the entire composition right so now if we just you know move this around then it's gonna affect the stage like that because as you can see the guide shows the real output and however these are overlapping here. It's being affected in the stage. So we're just gonna leave this here and click save and close. Let's click on any one of the graphics. And as we can see, the output is not something which we desire because it's just cropping towards the left and cropping towards the right. It's not covering the whole stage. So we want to have an output which covers the entire stage uh, in a way that it looks nice so what we're gonna do here is uh, go to output and then advanced and I learned this trick from Resolume themselves they have a video on YouTube from their channel and it's about making cheat slices so we're gonna start off by creating a screen and inside of the screen we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a guide which is our normal guide here Right, so uh, to my knowledge, each of these pillars are 200 pixels wide and the main screen is 1200 pixels. I mean, this is just for understanding purpose. It's not like real scale because it's way more than that. So we're gonna change the width to 1200 and get the height in 900 because that's the normal height. And then we're gonna center it and options like this, the snapping tool, it helps a lot because uh, you can you know pinpoint snap in the center or in the sides I mean anything that snaps 
right so we're gonna have the left and right one as well and I guess it is about 1600 right? and center that one as well now we're gonna duplicate this slice we can just right click and then duplicate or we can just do control CV or even control D works so we're gonna take the second slice move it towards the left and take the third slice and move it towards the right now what we want is to have uh, half of the main screen play in the left side and half of the right screen play on the right side now we're gonna line uh, up these slices in the midpoints and then hold down shift and click and drag so it's the size of the left side and the right side or, or we could just duplicate this one and just bring it over towards the right anyway works um, right now as we can see uh, the center of uh, the left side actually is the stage right B panel and the stage left uh, E panel so let's just you know drag these a little higher and just have them like that so it's almost like mid uh, now the problem is when we play content it's gonna overlap so we're gonna make an input mask and have it towards the left and just line it up with this same for slice number three input mask take it towards the right and have this over here so we're gonna rename this one double click and arena cheat we're gonna save and close this right so we're gonna go to slices and then go down and as you can see we have arena cheat over here right so this thing now is called slice transform so you could drag this into the composition this will affect the entire composition you could drag it into layers which affect the layers and you could drag it into individual clips and have you know cool effects uh, right so we're going to drag it into layer 2 and just drop it here and as you can see this uh, has been applied to layer 2 now if i copy this and paste it here now if i click it uh, you guessed it it's gonna play the center section and have half on each side just like this and this is exactly what we want if we drag a piece of content here it's covering the entire stage and this is what we want basically and you could go crazy with this uh, technique and make anything you like and from the previous tutorial um, like we made generative patterns just for you to understand we're gonna apply this effect called lines and let's just have it in a normal layer so we can just see the entire thing we're gonna reduce the amount to one uh, use the fuzziness have a normal line right uh, so we want this line to move from top to bottom and we can see in the position setting we have this uh, control so we're gonna click this triangle in the left and go to envelope this is basically a graph which has the low value here and the high value over here what we're gonna do is click again in this triangle and then go to timeline and this transforms the thing into animation so we can increase the speed and decrease the speed you know just you can do anything we like uh, let's go to effects and apply this effect called polar kaleido which is a kaleidoscope effect but it uh, polarizes the endpoints thus making it a circle so um, let's just reduce the width a little bit and increase the amount of lines now as we can see this is being affected uh, across the entire stage and if we drag it here into layer 2 you guessed it it's gonna have the effect with the slice transform so as you can see it's playing half of the entire content uh, in the right side of the stage and the left side of the stage right so hope you guys understood this quick little uh, slice transform technique um, also you got an idea into how input and output mappings work inside of resolume arena thanks for watching this video and i hope you have a great one